Welcome back to the Los Alamitos preview show. As mentioned earlier, we have the running of the Golden State Million Fraternity this coming Sunday, and a trainer who's had some great success here in the past at Los Alamitos with the champions like A. Ransom, Connie Hall, as a starter for owner Ed Allred with Chicanery, who's shown some pretty good potential this meet. Earlier this week, our director of marketing and publicity caught up with Connie Hall to talk about her past champions and her current star, Chicanery. Well, we're on the eve of the running of the Golden State Million Futurity, and I'm so pleased to be joined by trainer Connie Hall. Connie has trained some of the great quarter horses of all time, Chicks Beduino, a Ransom, a Classic Dash, Avis, and so many great stars that she has trained over the years. And before we talk about this handsome fellow, Chicanery, who will be running on the Golden State Million Futurity, let's talk a little bit about yourself. You've been training uh, quarter horses for a long time. How did you get started? Well, I've had horses since I was a child. I would never stay in school, so my parents gave me uh, a horse, and I gave me kept, they knew where I was at, always where the horse was. And so it just got worse from there. <laughs> so was Los Alamitos the first racetrack that you started attending? It was. Los Alamitos used to have those stallion barns on the other side of the railroad tracks, of Orbam and some of those clabber two old, old horses were there. And we were little kids, and we'd ride up and down, come look at the beautiful horses. We just rode horses, you know. And uh, then I got into showing a little bit Jim Canna's and barrels and stuff, and then kind of ran out of all the options there. And my girlfriend had a thoroughbred, and we went on the fairs with her, Barbara uh, Riley. You don't remember her, but she was around a long time ago. So I got into the horse business. She uh, had her horse under t uh, Joel Stannard. His name was Tooney. And uh, she didn't. She, then she got her license, and we raced that thoroughbred on the fairs. And finally, we drug home broke. And <laughs> but. I got. I went to work for Burt Montgomery at that point because he needed a groom, and I was very well trained, of course, by then. So, um, and then Burt passed on, and his wife had the horses for a little while. And she. Any long story short was, and I just stayed at the racetrack, and I had a horse. I bought. We had bought at the sale. Um, Kenneth Merling sold his sale. And I bought Sailor's Charge, and so then I started. My husband. And I got a divorce, and I kept the horse, and. I've been here ever since then. So it's a long story, you might want to edit that out. But <laughs> So I'm just basically horse trainer and that's it. I worked for the phone company and that was a terrible job, you know, so anyway. <laughs> so I'm just glad to be here. I'm glad to have seen races become what they have today uh, with Dr. Allred buying a racetrack and making so many beautiful changes and stuff. It's just really a, it's a pleasure to be here. And got involved into horse racing and you made a mark in this sport as well. You won so many stakes races, quarter horse races, and has some champions. Tell us a little bit about Chicks Beduino, what it was he like? He was, he was a very nice horse. They had broke him at the ranch and they sent him to me and I had him from day one at the track. He was, a, he was a kind horse. He always wanted to go work and go do whatever he wanted to. He was very willing and he was a colt and he was no problem being a colt at all. So he went on, of course, and we had him at Bay Meadows and he qualified really fast and we were very excited about his qualifying works. And lo and behold, even his racing performances were grander than those. So, <laughs> you know, he was just a delight and just probably the big boost in my career. You know, so th he and I still train for part of their family. I don't train for Joe and Jerry anymore, but I do train for John and Kathy, Bob and Reith, who owned half of him. And they also own a Ransom, one of the all time great quarter horses to race at Los Alamitos. One of the best that I've ever seen. He was just he just his true blood go to go. He wanted to go. That's all he wanted to do. He was kind. He, uh, he ran as a gelding once, and I think he didn't make it after that point. We castrated, I mean, as a colt, and we has, had to castrate him after that. And he was really all focused. He, he stood there in the gate and watched. I don't think he ever got out of the gate bad. And there he got a good break. He always got a good performance. He was great. Now you have more than Wild, who's a full brother to Chicanery, and Chicanery is in the Golden State Million Futurity. Tell us a little bit about this family. They've been very good to you. They have been. Uh, more than Wild was a great, he's a great big horse, and he's like uh, one of the largest horses I've ever seen. And he, he also wants to go. He's, uh, he goes out of the racetrack very willing to go. He pulls hard. He wants to go. He's now three, and he's, he's had some good luck, and he's done fairly well, you know, and he's won several races, and he's a nice horse. But he's not as fast as his younger brother, so his brother looks like he's the one we've been looking for for a while. <laughs> it's a good good looking horse. Has won two races already. Looked really sharp in the Golden State Million Trials. Should be a good race, but there's a big horse. He's a dash of fire that he's going to have to contend with. There are some excellent horses in the race. You don't get in those races by having a slow horse. So it's going to be a very difficult race to win, but we're going to try our best to do that. Thanks so much. We've been joined by Connie Hall, one of the all-time great female trainers, one of the all-time great quarter horse trainers. Back to the studio.
Well, thanks, Connie. And Les, you've been around long enough to remember A. Ransom was a great horse, and Connie Hall's had some big champions in the past, so certainly maybe Chicanery can be the upset contender. I've always been a fan of you know, Connie Hall. She's been with us for quite some time. I'm rooting for Chicanery. Lightly race horse, even horse won two out of four races, and Chicanery there always gives his best, Dad. Well, I still remember the first time Chicanery ran when this horse finished second. You yeah. thought this horse showed a tremendous mm -hmm. amount of potential, and obviously the longer distance is going to help Chicanery, and that's exactly what the 400 yards will be suited for for Chicanery in yes. the finals of the Golden State Million.